A closed wing is a wing that effectively has two main planes, which merge at their ends so that there are no conventional wing tips. An early example of the closed wing was on the Bleriot 3 aircraft, built in 1906. Wingtip vortices are circular patterns of rotating air left behind a wing as it generates lift. Wingtip vortices are associated with induced drag, the imparting of downwash, and form the primary component of wake turbulence. A closed wing avoids the need for wingtips and thus might be expected to reduce wingtip drag effects. The upshot is that although closed systems can produce large induced drag reductions relative to a conventional planar wing, there is no significant aerodynamic advantage that uniquely accrues to their being closed rather than open. A Prandtl box wing is a particular closed wing design with two offset horizontal wings that have vertical wings connecting their tips and shape to provide a linear distribution of side forces. The configuration is said to offer improved efficiency for a range of aircraft. We initially made a radio-controlled model with Prandtl box wing. This model crashed. Subsequently, we copied and scaled the dimensions of the Idintos Prandtl plane. This aircraft has a swept front wing, and an inverted delta-shaped rear wing. The front wing has a dihedral angle of 7 degrees. This design surely conforms an optimal aerodynamics for the cruising speeds at which this aircraft flies. For a radio-controlled aircraft that pretends to fly at very low speeds, this aerodynamics proves to be non-functional. In the tests we carried out, the front wing was constantly stalling. Pitch-up is a severe form of stall in an aircraft, that is directly related to inherent properties of all swept wings. When it occur at low speeds, it is called a saber dance, that is, a particularly dangerous behavior of swept wings that became apparent during the development of the F-100 Super Saber. That seemed to be the problem of our model. We have replaced the front wing with one wing with variable dihedral angle. The new wing has a very little swept. With this design, we carry out the first valid tests. One of the disadvantages of this type of aircraft with respect to a normal aircraft is that the static margin is very small. That is, the center of gravity must be placed very precisely so that the plane flies fine. Therefore, a lot of tests were done until the best position of the center of gravity was found. In a next version of the plane, we have reduced the vertical separation between the wings, from the initial 8 cm to the current 5 cm. We have changed the rear wing for one similar to the front wing. We have added a dihedral angle to the rear wing, which has improved the lateral stability of the plane. We have also added an elevator. We are using N50 motors with 75 mm propellers which provide up to 160 grams of thrust when disposed in parallel with a two-cell battery. The battery is a 500 milliamps hour. We are using 3.7 gram servos for the rudders. The total weight is 166 grams. After the first tests to find the right position of the center of gravity, a very smooth and stable flight is achieved. In the next step, we have joined both wings with side strips of polystyrene. This addition is mainly aesthetic, because it really does not prevent the vortex at the tips of the front wing. Since the strips were added, the plane has done nothing but wobble during the flight tests. We cannot assure that the cause of the wobble is the strips. It could simply be a direct wind effect. In any case, as it is obvious that the side strips destabilize the plane when there is some wind, we have removed them. In the latest version of the aircraft, N50 motors have been replaced by N60 motors with 3-inch three 3-blade three propellers. The N50 motors were overheated, which caused the propellers to come out of the shaft. 
the base support of the motors has been reinforced to avoid energy losses due to vibrations. A separator has been added to minimize the interaction between the air flows of the propellers. The final weight is 180 grams. The wing load is 2.3 kilograms per square meter. Now we see the plane flying. And that's all, thanks. Hay que quitarle... Hay que ajustarlo. Ja, quitarle. Es un poco inestable. Sí. Bueno, pues hay que trimarlo. ¿Y el carrito, vale? Vale. Hay que trimarlo más. Es el ¿eh? Vale. Bueno.